comeback, la religieuse, part 2. Praliné religieuse. For the praliné, toast your almonds and hazelnuts over the stove or in a 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 degrees Celsius oven for about 10 minutes. Then rub into a kitchen towel. The steam created will peel off the hazelnuts, not the almond though, but that's fine. For the caramel à sec, I am using pearl sugar, but granulated or powdered sugar work just fine. In a very hot skillet, cook half of the sugar until it turns brown, then add the other half. I prefer using caramel à sec rather than wet caramel because it comes to the right color so quickly. However, and for a much larger batch, I would make a wet caramel. Shape caramelized nuts into a block and flatten it. Let cool completely and break into pieces. You want to save some for the garnishing and blend the rest of it. You can actually double the recipe and you'll have these extra bars for treats. It is so good. In order to obtain this luscious hazelnut almond paste, praliné, when the blade is running, throw in the caramelized nuts and blend for 5 minutes or until it turns into paste. Beat custard on high speed until smooth, then mix in the hazelnut paste, the praliné, and add the remaining room temperature temperature butter and beat on high speed for 5 minutes. For this revisited version of Praliné Religieuse, which is basically a Paris-Brest Religieuse, slice off tops and trim them using a round fluted cutter, just to make them pretty. Fill the shoe generously with the praliné filling and then place the lid upside down. Fill each with whipped cream. Slice off tops of religious heads. Fill them with praliné filling. Add some crushed caramelized nuts. More whipped cream and put the hat back on. Praliné or Paris-Brest religieuse Dawn. For the framboise or raspberry religieuse, beat vanilla custard until smooth. Fill up the shoe and stuff them with fresh raspberries. To make a quick and light buttercream, beat one cup of custard with half cup of softened butter and top the shoe with. Then remove the bottom of the religious head and discard them and place them upside down. Stuff with more custard filling and finish with buttercream. Top with a rose petal and fresh raspberry and fill the cavity with red fruit jam. Rose framboise religieuse, done. Now the chocolate religieuse. Let's make the glaze first. Pour hot heavy cream over the chocolate, let it sit a couple of minutes and blend until completely smooth. Meanwhile, beat the chocolate custard until smooth and fill the base from the top and the heads from the bottom. Then dip half of the shoe into the chocolate glaze. Do likewise with the head and place on top of the base. To make some chocolate buttercream, same principle, beat some chocolate custard with softened butter and with a very thin open star pastry tip, add the last touch up. To get the complete recipe with instructions and measurements, check out my website brunoskitchen.net. I'm just curious now, I just want to make sure it tastes as good as it looks. Mamma mia! <laughs>